am Megan Spur, Community Lead for Xbox Game Pass. In today's PC Community Update, we're back to talk to you about the Xbox experience on Windows. Since we launched Xbox Game Pass for PC and the Xbox app in 2019, which feels precisely sometime between 9 minutes and 87 years ago, we've made a lot of updates to the app. We've made it easier for you to find games that are coming and leaving soon, not to mention stocked the thing full of amazing games and made the download experience more reliable for all PC games, including a whole bunch that arrived on day one with Game Pass for PC. That's a subtle plug there. <laughs> Today we're talking to Jason Beaumont, Partner Director of Experiences with Xbox, about some of the updates Xbox insiders will be able to test in the Xbox app on PC and what you can expect in the future. Jason, welcome back. It's been a minute since we've talked about the Xbox app and Game Pass. <laughs> yeah, it's great to see you again. So tell me a little bit about the updates that people are going to be able to test soon in the Xbox app with Xbox Insiders. Uh, as you might know, we had some legacy systems we were working with. We had uh, UWP games and all this stuff around delivery and installation. We made significant improvements to those systems. You know, they were leading to some challenges for PC gamers with just updating their apps, downloading, installing, and especially modding games. We've been listening to the feedback from everyone on what would make gaming even better with the app. And we're excited to roll out these foundational updates out to all of our players soon. So what's the first thing that we're gonna notice? We want you to be able to choose where your games install. Soon, Xbox Insiders can start testing out, selecting what drive your game installs to, and select where your default folder goes within that drive. They'll also find that download speeds of those games have improved over time, so it's even easier and faster to get to your next game. That's awesome. One of the biggest changes you're gonna find, and I know you mod a lot of games, Megan, is that soon, uh, for many games with an Xbox Game Pass, you'll have access to your local files. That means you'll be able to edit your game files, move your files, etc. Shout out to the person who made the Mass Effect mod that turns all fonts into Comic Sans, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that, that wasn't gonna be the first mod that I chose. <laughs> but in the Xbox app, you can look at the game details and you'll see if a game is moddable. Huge shout out and a big thank you to our Xbox insiders who will be testing these new updates. If you want to scope out the new updates and share your feedback before they release, join the Xbox insiders now. We'll put a link in the description for more details on how to join. But let's talk about another big update. I think more of our PC gamers with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate are going to be impacted by this one, and that's cloud gaming. Yeah, when you launch the app now, you'll see cloud gaming. This is a really cool experience for a lot of people. Check out my cloud gaming walkthrough. You'll see a link in the description below. But essentially, our Ultimate members now have access to play almost instantly the Xbox Game Pass library of cloud-enabled console games from within the Xbox app on PC. Exactly. This is great if you just can't get your hands on one of the new consoles and want to check out the great library of console games we have in Xbox Game Pass. And for people with older PCs. Or don't have a gaming PC at all or if you're on a work machine and playing games instead of listening to a meeting that should have just been an email. Yeah, I admit nothing. <laughs> but seriously, it's also great if you're on PC, but your friends are playing on console. This makes it really easy to play together. I've got one more thing to point out that isn't necessarily in the Xbox app, but I think for our early adopters of Windows 11 this month, they may want to know. As you might know, with Windows 11, Microsoft implemented Auto HDR, a really cool feature that takes a lot of older games that weren't built with HDR and moves them automatically into high dynamic range. I've been going back and checking out some games, and it's crazy what a difference it makes. You're right, but what some people might find is that they want to play without HDR, or maybe that HDR is just too much for certain games. That's where an update to Xbox Game Bar comes in. We have a widget in Game Bar that will let you toggle HDR on or off. Or you can use an intensity slider to change how intense the HDR is within your game. I absolutely love that. I can totally see if you're feeling some nostalgia games and you want to go back and play, but the HDR just doesn't hit right with those games, so you just want to customize your gameplay experience. Now let's talk about some of the updates that are still coming this year or later next year. We're continuously working on updates for the Xbox app and Xbox Game Pass for PC. We'll continue to bash the bugs as we find them, but we have some things coming up that people will be excited about. First up is we're continuing to improve performance of the app, making it more reliable to download and play your games. We're absolutely not done yet. We keep listening to your feedback and work behind the scenes to make it even better. Next, we're reducing the friction for developers to bring their games and implement game features like cross saves, achievements, and other benefits of our platforms. And we're making plugins for common engines like Unity and Unreal. 
Finally, we're still innovating. We're gonna keep working to make this a great gaming platform for all PC gamers. We're all super excited to see the work being done by the team. Uh, my very last question though is, what are you playing now? <laughs> I'm playing Psychonauts 2 right now. It's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> all right, well, it's already in my backlog. Thanks for walking us through the roadmap of all the updates to come. Yeah, thank you for having me. And thank you everyone for tuning in. Remember, go join the Xbox Insiders if you wanna start testing updates to the Xbox app and please keep sending us your feedback. And we'll talk to you next time.